Kyle, they hear, but are they listening? Finger off the trigger, nigga. That's called discipline. Wake up, choose to inform because I dare Simpsons. Hebrew kitty in a wheelchair. Extra Mexican Jewish president. Get in trouble, citing what's not evident. Titty meat censored. Goddess restricted. Wet ass pussy diverse. So they missed this. Sweet baby suicide squad. A quinky dink diaper. Developers all say they don't stink. Gay, 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 gay. So if you say in Alabama, big wheels keep turning. Big Nan trigger trend. Give a dog a bone, vitiligo thing turn into stone, none in the pink and all in the stink, trans bullets really make you think, Steinbaum in tears, boo dreidel, who quit it's rehearsal for Hogwarts 2 Kotaku botting for engagement, screaming he she journal derangement, people just wanna be left alone by the LGBTQ plus a chromosome queer sexual gender mancer eminent dragon, age of Flat chested, big chin, not for me. Black, half blind, and an amputee. A dopey spy and revoke your access. Sell a subscription, bitch, get finessed. Hello, beta testers. <laughs> Have you been seeing games that appeal? Are women allowed to be attractive? Couldn't have been Xbox games. That's against Microsoft protocol. And Warner Brothers recently launched a new women and non-binary leadership program in order to upend the gaming industry's male-dominated characterization. Because losing 200 million in Sushi Squad slop flops wasn't enough. So this means to complement your battle royales, extraction, looter, and arena shooter games that you'll be seeing plenty of with strictly DEI designs and western modern games for a modern audience. And they're gonna ice that cake with some dialogue right out of Reddit, baby, nice and cringe. The kind of stuff that would survive everyone's comments being deleted. Dat gay shit TM. All of these people are triggered by what will effortlessly and inevitably reclaim gaming because no matter how much paint they try to spill all over the truth, they can't make it false. With a special thanks to Anil and Matthew, like, subscribe to join over 94,000 beta testers and comment or correct me below as I do what games journalists can't seem to. In simply reading the comments below a trailer with over 140,000 dislikes, here are some of the comments. How did we go from dark fantasy to Saturday morning cartoons? 18,000 likes. 29,000 likes and over 134,000 dislikes. For those wondering, this is what happens when you take a beloved dark fantasy RPG and turn it into Overwatch. I just realized we're not getting Mass Effect 5, are we? You either die as a Dragon Age or live long enough to see yourself become Fortnite 7k likes. Are you sure this is dark fantasy? 14k likes. The music choice isn't doing any favors. Oh yes, Baldur's Gate 3 looks more like Dragon Age than Dragon Age itself. 13,000 likes. What are we, some sort of Dragon Suzette squad? 19,000 likes. I don't need to go on. If you ever try engaging any of these shills in a discussion about deliberately ugly ESG designs in video games, you'll be treated to something like someone trying to convince you that the Switch version <laughs> is better looking than the others. So now that the sweet baby ink game called South of Midnight has low frame rated people needing to convince you that this stylistic choice is actually good and the swinging between frame rates is not jarring, but it's like, it's so good cause like SJ and got 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 if only the scrappy team of undesirable beggars could persuade people to kiss grass or whatever it is they're into as well as they deep throat that denial I tried to watch one guzzler named Mr. Maddie Shills and had to instantly tap out this guy was amazed and thrilled by the showcase so I'm I'm just gonna represent people that I guess don't have a hand up their ass. Watching old news media circle the drain, exclusively parroting the opposite of sentiment that is very loudly being made plain, fills me with determination. This Pride Month, 
Bud Light Overwatch Star Wars College Brochure design philosophy is currently at its pudgy black gay disabled woman with a skin condition phase, and you can lead the good people to this stale swamp juice you call in water, but you can't make them drink it. No one pays attention to the WNBA until one day, a woman named Caitlin Clark demanded attention. And if that wasn't getting people's attention, the fact that all of these angry bitches had a big problem with Caitlyn sure did. Isn't it crazy how we never blame ugly women in the industry exclusively the things we're seeing here we don't believe this is exclusively the result of triggered and envious women as if we all understand that it's truly the identity obsessed often born a man transformers pushing the soy next to wimpy men who have been convinced to feel guilty because of their privilege that they were born with the thing they can't change. For the record, I always believe things like Dragon Age to be destined to fall to the Tumblr kids, the toddler SJW Hufflepuff sluts that grow into cat ladies and activists performing online and holding people to standards that they, sir, themselves, of course, don't personally live up to. Gotta impose and inject that insecurity, you know, out of jealousy. Because how dare those digital women have normal breasts and good looks? You know, these lazy modern audience entities were destined to do their job so poorly that AI was going to be able to effortlessly outperform them. And before the developments of AI as people now know it, it was already famous for its stock market projections. Adobe has updated its terms in a way that will allow itself to spy on you and, most importantly, train its AI for the future for free. Isn't that wonderful? You know, I know people who had to take the back door because I am people who had to take the back door. And I know some currently shooken and jiving, bouncing that ball and shaking that money maker in whatever ways will keep dollar signs in the eyes of people long enough to pretend they ain't racist to actually make some changes slowly but surely. I'm a man attracted to women, so I know the tragedy of dozens of Halle Berry's and Selma Hayek's overlooked because they're casting what they class as ugly, as indicated verbatim by casting directors like the bitch in The Witcher. I'm a man attracted to art, which is endlessly restricted, compromised, and often destroyed by the endless boundaries and safety inspections and token pandering that seems to be forcibly injected that are completely outside of anyone's initial vision. A Sydney Sweeney representing every race would solve a lot of problems. Many men truly are simple. And what ignorant sluts class as whining, complaining, malding, or whatever dumbass word they want to use to dismiss valuable data is being collected and analyzed by intelligent people and the data is being used to supply a demand. It has nothing to do with us anymore. People instantly, at a glance, without needing to confer with anything, recognize the DEI design and slop that isn't worth anything but a wait for sale or maybe if it's on game pass so beta testers patrons thank you for your ongoing support special thanks to anil and matthew and i want to create a patreon tier where i say your name at the end of the video but i want you guys to decide what a reasonable price for that is in the comments leave your thoughts as well as ideas on what you'd like me covering in the next video and i think i want a cute little potato vtuber like this for kyle that i can control maybe with vr hands or something so red pill me on it in the comments if it's a stupid idea i threw some pcs on the wish list for you to judge and steer me in the best direction if you're so bored I appreciate you and your help, and we'll be able to reach some big titty beta testers together. Path of Exile 2, First Ascendant, Marvel Rivals are what have my immediate interest. Feel free to express which one of these you'd like me to dive into first. I really do love ya. And maybe we can just laugh now, because god damn.